Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are running and using VirtualBox, then just a video to let you know that Oracle has now finally released VirtualBox 7. And I think the big one with this release, which is a major update, is that there is now support for Windows 11, which was previously available only in the beta builds. And now in version 7, it is now possible to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox without running into any hardware compatibility issues. And that's because, as many of you will know, Microsoft changed the hardware requirements of Windows 11, which VirtualBox previously failed to meet, even if the host um, device and system did meet all the system requirements to run Windows 11. And now, as mentioned, in version 7, it carries support now for Windows 11. And over and above that, um, as many of you will do know who do use VirtualBox, it is available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Solaris. Now, and just to take a quick look at the release notes and the change log, which was made available on the 10th of October. And as mentioned, this is a major update. So this change log and these release notes are quite lengthy. So I've just highlighted a couple of the new features and upgrades in yellow just for the purposes of this video. Now, first of all, um, virtual machines can be fully encrypted now, including the VM config logs and saved states. Cloud virtual machines can be added to uh, the virtual machine manager and controlled as local VMs. Cloud networks can now be configured using the Network Manager tool. They've added a new utility which lists performance uh, stats of guest systems like your CPU usage, RAM usage, disk input output rate, and so on. There's a couple of um, UI user interface improvements in version 7 of VirtualBox. And audio recording, they are now using Forbus as the default audio format. And Opus, as you can see here, is no longer being used according to Oracle. And then yeah, at the bottom of uh, the new features, they've implemented new 3D support based on DirectX 11, added virtual TPM 1.2 and 2 devices, and they've also now finally added support for secure boot. And um, if you want to download the new version, I'll leave um, a link to this page in the description, and you can just click on downloads, which will then obviously take you over to the download page where you can download version 7 uh, if you are running and using VirtualBox and as mentioned it's quite a lengthy change log but I think the big one here um, is that Windows 11 can now be installed um, in VirtualBox um, version 7 without the need now for all those previously known hacks and workarounds to get it installed into VirtualBox. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.